Hi everybody, Chad German here with Utah Electrician. I had some time after class today to uh, teach a little bit. So I'm gonna go over 250.6, which is uh, objectionable current. Objectionable current we do not want. It's not something like, well, let's uh, write in the code book that we need some objectionable current. That's something we do not want to have uh, at all on our system. So objectionable current would be where your effective ground fault current path back would have current on that, which means your equipment grounds. Your equipment grounds or your grounding conductor shall be free. It's not a current carrying conductor like a grounded conductor or a neutral. So when you bond your neutral that is a current carrying conductor to a grounding, uh, a grounding conductor, that is not good because you will get objectionable current back. For an example, uh, just on a grounded conductor. A lot of people don't understand that a grounded conductor or a neutral conductor is a current carrying conductor. I've been hit by a neutral, unsafe. It hurt worse than when I got hit by a hot or a ungrounded conductor. So let me show you what it is. If you have A phase and B phase on a system, one pulls 10 amps, one pulls 15 amps. Your neutral will have a current coming back of five amps. You can get hit by five amps. Um, you can get hit by whatever this unbalanced load coming back off your neutral is. If you bond your equipment grounds and your ground ground dead conductors, you will have objectionable current back. It's not a matter of if or what if. If you bond, you will get hit back. I you will get hit. I got had a guy, a student who I was teaching continuing education a few weeks ago, hit me up on break and said, Chad, can you explain something to me? I was working on a job and I turned off the power on some switch gear and I went in and I checked one, one actually it wasn't a switch gear, it was a panel, I, I apologize. He went to a, a panel and he turned off the panel uh, and he went from his meter with his meter from phase to phase and from phase to grounds and he, he had nothing. So then he got working on the panel, his arm touched against the panel and he got hit. Um, he went and turned off that panel, it got rid of it. Uh, before he did that, he checked between neutral and ground and he had a voltage and then he put a meter on it and he had nine amps. Okay, so he had like 112 volts, he said, and nine amps coming back on that can. That is objectionable current. You cannot have that on a system. 250.6 says we gotta avoid that. Here's one way that happens. A lot of guys, uh, I live in Santa Quin, Utah, a lot of farmland, a lot of people that think they know about electricity. One thing I've learned is if you think you, you, that you can do it, you probably shouldn't. And then there's people I've met that are like, oh, they'd be a good electrician. They are, they're smart enough to stay away. Unless you have the proper training, you shouldn't do electrical work, okay? So let's say we have a main disconnect. That disconnect we take to earth, we bond inside that panel, we have a neutral, we bond inside that panel. Our equipment grounds that come from our feeder, it bonds inside that panel. Everything bonds in that panel. That has to do with uh, 250.4A1, where we talk about we want to we want to have the system taken to earth so that uh, it keeps unintentional uh, keeps a voltage imposed on your system due to unintentional contact with power line, lightning lightning strike or power surge, and it also stabilizes your equipment, right? That's 240, uh, sorry, 250.4A1. That's a whole different thing. What we're talking about is uh, objectionable current, and we don't want that. Down here, that's fine on our main disconnect. But let's say we take our feeder, and inside our, over to this sub panel, or this panel inside a house, and in that panel, all our branch circuits get fed, and they come over, um, into this panel. And we bond our neutrals and our grounds the same way we did over here at the main point of disconnect. You will get a, an objectionable current coming back, okay? Again, if you have um, A phase and B phase, you have 10 amps, 5 amps, sorry, 10 amps and 15 amps, you'll have a neutral come back with 5 amps. That will happen on your equipment ground you will have current coming back on your equipment ground and your equipment ground then becomes a current carrying conductor, which we want to avoid, okay? We want to have an equipment ground that is an effective ground fault current path back. That's the whole point of that thing, is to trip your breaker when we have a, when we have a fault.
We don't want to bond our neutrals downstream. The only place that happens, neutrals and grounds and, uh, and our earthing is all bonded here, never anywhere else. Even on an outlet that doesn't have a ground, so you just pigtail off your ground and your neutral, that's gonna be an issue. So I don't know if you're a handyman watching this, if you're a homeowner, I don't know who you are, but if you bond anywhere beyond the main point of disconnect, you will have objectionable current and you could kill somebody. So please uh, pay attention. Don't become a YouTube electrician and just go wire up stuff without knowing what you're doing. This is a huge problem. And that's why our code says it has to be free from having an objectionable, objectionable current on our systems. Thank you guys. I hope you got something from this video and please hit me up on uh, Utah Electrician on Instagram or on uh, this YouTube channel or just G or you can email me at cgermanelectric at gmail.com. I also do consulting uh, and I teach here four nights a week at, at MTech. So I love helping people. I love this trade. I'm passionate about it and uh, I want to avoid this at all costs. Thank you guys. Have a great day.